Hey there guys, my name is Agent Breno and uh, welcome to another tutorial from me. And in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you a basic way to semi-automatic, uh, to semi-automate the coke oven. And then I'm going to show you a fully automated, or fully automated way. So first we're going to start off by adding a hopper. And just connect these hoppers on top, we'll just stick three there for now. Then let me grab some coal. Now what we're going to do is place a redstone, sorry, a wooden pipe here. Dig two blocks down, place a redstone torch or a lever. Stick your engine there so it starts pumping, place a chest. And that's the semi-automated. So obviously all you need to do, fill these item hoppers up. They will carry along into this one and your coke oven will start. Now to get the liquid out, you can either use a liquid tesseract or just some glass bottles. Glass bottles are just the easy way as you're starting off, so you stick your glass bottles in there. They will also come out as well. Okay, let's go on to the next setup, and uh, yeah, we'll finish there. I'm just showing you quickly how I do it the easy way, and then sort of the easy way, but, you know, a more advanced way. Anyway, guys, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, guys, I'm going to run you through this one. Um, this is just a basic um, applied energetic setup. So, you have your setup here using the ME controller, the ME drive and the ME access terminal. So in the drive you need your ME 1K storage. That's in the wrong place, sorry. It goes there. This is the block that basically gives this power. As you can see we got that there. Okay, now the other bit we need to do. Let's just say in here we have a bunch of coal. Now we are going to use a hopper as a buffer, okay? So that's uh, very simple there. So we're going to place our coal. There we go. Like, okay. Now I'm just going to run. Oh, whoops! I'm just going to run straight across here with my cable. You can obviously neaten this up as much as you want. So if we just come along. Now from the top we have our hopper shift to place okay then here we have a basic export bus because we're exporting from our system okay and now we we'll just bring it on the back there we go there we go doesn't really matter you know if it doesn't look too great now here we're going to say we want coal going in there. Okay. Then here, we're going to have a basic export buzz. Now, you can do this, you know, a lot neater, but just for, you know, purposes, we're going to do like this. So then we're going to tell this guy, you know, I want coal coming, you know, coming in to here. So what will happen is this will keep filling. So as this gets full, this top will then get full. So you have your basic and then your, you know, sort of advanced way. Now, I'm doing these sort of tutorials because these are many things I'm going to do in my current LP series. If you haven't seen any of them, guys, go in the description. There's a, a playlist link there. And there's also, there also might be a show, um, a show one uh, there eventually. Um, just applying for the show, uh, yeah. So coals in the system, getting exported, going into the hopper as a buffer, and then from here we have the coal coming straight out. Now, obviously, if you want to do the glass bottle bottle method, you can do that as well. So we're just going to put some glass bottles in there, and then that basically this basic uh, basic import bus has no interface but because you're exporting from the system you have to tell it what to so what this will basically do is when this is ready and it's done you know it's created a cold coke it'll automatically shove it there will automatically detect hang on there's an item in there i can pull so it'll pull when when a bottle gets full there's an item in there i can pull that now i can put that into my system same with this there we go 
So a cold coat's coming out, a glass bottle's coming out, and you can see already that's working. This will work exactly the same, but automated. So anyway, guys, that's a, another tutorial from me. Hopefully, it's not been too long-winded. I'm going to try and make them a lot shorter. There's going to be a lot more tutorials coming up lately on the channel. So if you've got something you're interested in, and you want to know the simple way, and then, you know, the applied energetics way, let me know, and I'll sort that out for you. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, go go in ahead and leave a like. It just basically helps me out on the YouTube. It gets you, gets you better known for my videos. And if you want to see more from me, click the subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it off for here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in another video.